Good morning, YouTubers. It's about 8.30. I just got up. I haven't taken a shower, got dressed yet, but I plan to. For some reason, my alarm was set for 8 o'clock on a Saturday. I am not a happy camper. Um, so I laid in bed for a little while with my playing on my tablet and then I got up and I'm having my coffee. It's very light snow flurries right now but it's still really windy out there and that was supposed to stop by yesterday. It's Farrell's shift obviously. I just opened the curtain so he's looking to see what he missed during the night when they were closed. Sleepy is wondering where the sun is. Curly is next to Pete in his chair. The sun came out and it's gorgeous. It's still windy. Um, not sure. I better double check the temperature. It's 20 degrees outside. Because it's going to be bitterly cold out on the lake, which for me to say bitterly cold, it's cold. As you know, until it gets down the single digits, I don't even wear a coat, so um, I just wear my fleece vest. But it's going to be bitterly cold out on the lake with all this wind. So I am dressed in a thermal shirt, sweatshirt. So I have two pair of pants on, so a pair of sweats with a pair of um, another pair under it. My hair is wet, so I won't be putting a hat on yet, but we're going to eat lunch first, so. Um, we're going to go to G's Pizzeria for lunch. Um, warning ahead of time, I'll be eating carbs. <laughs> so we're at G's Pizzeria in um, Holton Lake here. And look at the size of those nachos. Pete gets nachos every time we come here. Don't they look great? Wow. Look at the size of those. We got some onion rings. I got a Reuben which I've taken a few bites of. I'll probably only eat half because that's way too much food. And they have these yummy homemade potato chips. Ooh, they're so good. Oh, yummy. Okay, guys, we're walking to the lake. We're by Lyman's. Anybody who knows Houghton Lake knows Lyman's. This is where people... <laughs> my penguin husband... <laughs> This is actually where the people drive on the lake. You can see all the cars out there. <coughs> I'm glad I wore extra layers. I can't um, see my display on the back of my camera because the sun is so freaking bright. <laughs> so hopefully you're getting a good view. And if we don't move, you'll get a good view of the underside of that car <laughs> that's coming toward us. Once Look at we all on porta potties. So once we get out there, and we're on solid water, <laughs> solid ground, whatever, I will. Um, Zoom in. We're just going to walk on the lake. It's just like walking on the grass. I mean, like on the ground or whatever. No difference. I don't know if you can hear me because of all the wind. I don't know if it's hitting the microphone or not. We're actually on the lake. Right, we're actually on the lake. See, there's a lighthouse. You can see where the side of the lake is. Yep. You can see, this is like I say, shanty town. There's lots over there. Now that I'm zoomed in, maybe you can see all the cars out here. Lots of them parked out, driving out to their shanties, or just to ice fish. So I've got some of that lunch, some of those carbs I ate. Whoa, lots of wind. Going out might not be too bad. Coming back in might be a little more difficult. I'll turn it off coming back in, or else I can just stop the sound. Yeah, because the wind's at our back right now. Oh. Yeah, 
know, we'll be fine. We'll just walk all the way to the other side. Yeah. <clears throat> There's some snowmobiles way out there. Oh, that's very cold on my back. With all these layers. How far do you want to go? Back in, it's going to be crazy. Look at my pants. It's really, really windy. Oh, this is tough, guys. This is really tough. You can probably only hear the wind, even though I'm talking almost right into the microphone. <laughs> Whoa, this is cold and it is tough. We'll do it. Life goes on. We'll do it. Don't go on water. Yeah, go on ice. Well, we're walking on water. It's froze. We're walking on ice. Yeah. Well, then we're walking on water when we're on snow too. Yeah, exactly. And rain. And rain. That is so true. You're so profound. My face is frozen. I don't know how much longer I can talk. I cannot describe to you how cold the wind is. Without the wind, it's great. Like right now, the wind slowed down and it feels great. <laughs> I'm blocking you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just walk behind Pete. I want to walk some more. There's snowmobiles. Yeah, I see them all. There was some behind the shanties too. <laughs> I would love to walk further. Let's walk this way. Lost the ball out of something. They lost the nut. That's true, that's a nut, not a bolt. You can see all the tracks. I mean, people drive all over here like it's just one big parking lot. Drive, you know, drive anywhere. The last we heard, the snow was probably the ice was two feet thick. Yeah. Yep, about two feet thick. I hear somebody's got their gas auger, gas auger going, yep. Sounds kind of like a motorcycle. One of those little, one of those kind, those little Japanese we call them. <laughs> Suzuki! <laughs> for Yamaha! <laughs> yeah, those little toy motorcycles. Anyway, I want to walk further, but the wind is... Let's go. So what? I don't want to be a weenie. Hey, look, isn't that cute? That couple holding hands. <laughs> I'm not even winded. I mean, this is great. But it's nice to be able to walk because it's all level, of course, and it feels so good. I'm going to come back tomorrow because it's really an easy walk. Yeah, that's true. It's a little tough there, but... <coughs> we maybe did a quarter <coughs> mile, huh? Probably. There's some. He's got some good tires for the snow. Oh, yeah. Those are good ones. Casey needs a hang. Yeah. Casey gets stuck on a snowflake. Oh, man. I want to go back over there. Maybe tomorrow we can walk down to the lighthouse and back. Yeah, if it's not so windy, it'd be good. 
Well, yeah, that's it. The wind is... When it kicks up, it's pretty cold. Oh, I love this. I love this cold air, though. I love being out here in this cold, beautiful lake. Oh, I love it. Now we're going uphill, so I'm getting a little bit so We're in the Laura's thrift store, Needful Items, Needful with two L's. And, uh, you can't believe how big this place is from what you saw from outside. She gave me permission to vlog in here. She didn't know what vlogging was, but I told her. She said, sure. Hello. Yes, dear. Does this make me look like a pimp? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, dear. Remember Huggy Bear? Oh, yeah. From, uh, what you call it, Miami Vice? <coughs> this even got a tail. <laughs> Men's clothes. One thing about her store, too, is she, she, um, she organizes things according to size, which a lot of places don't. Lots of videos. Watch your step. I'm getting a wallet. Where is it? There it is. I like that wallet. I, I need one anyway, so it's cool. Got lots of clothes, more women's clothes here apparently. Yeah, she keeps a really nice store. I like coming in here. Cool. Swim underwater. Open this up. <laughs> and sneak up on somebody's boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be good. <laughs> <I can't> Hello! <laughs> Anybody home? <laughs> hey, now this is cool. Got three suction cups. Yeah. Got a mirror. <laughs> Watch your step. I always look for music books too. You never know what you're going to find. Don't see any though. That big room and this big room. There's. Do I look tall up here? You should take a picture either way. So oh, you look short. I look tall. Whatever. You're 60 whatever going on 12. Then there's this room. Looky there. Look at all those purses. I love the purse I have right now. Otherwise, there's several here I would buy. Kitty stuff. Kitty stuff, I just said. Kitty stuff. Pajamas, unmentionables. Well, don't mention it. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. Oops. Another room. Look at all the stuff. I mean, it's huge. You guys gotta come in here. She has so much good stuff. That would be so cute, that lamp for Leland's room if he was still with us. You know what I want? A teapot. I wonder if she has just a... This little one doesn't have a lid. Blue pants for your dogs if you're... for your dogs. We'll go. Oh well, this is... see, look at all this stuff. I mean, everywhere you go, there's more rooms. More rooms full of stuff, and a couple of them are really big, so definitely worth a stop. If you want to stop in here, definitely worth coming in. This is a cool idea. So we just got out of Laura's cute place, and it's still a beautiful day out. Hey, dear. We go back for another walk on the lake. 
please? Yeah. Cool. Well, tomorrow. Aw. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go home. Or we could stop and see my mom. If it's snowing tomorrow, I'll wrap a rope around our each of our waists so that way if we get lost in the we snowstorm, we'll other. find each other. We could go see my mom. We could do that. Let's go see my mom. Uh, and it was just made it come over here and way back there. Yeah, if I can get a picture of them or got them. What is that now? I have a camera. Yeah, it's yeah. my camera. Yeah, he doesn't have to worry about ice, does he? That's nice. You're still doing it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love my camera. Yeah, I was. I, I, will you write down how I can call you on the phone? I, you've got my number. I gave it to you. I'll give it to you again. Yeah, well, they I also have it up at the desk. You can always ask. Well, I know that. And you're not very far from me. No, I'm just. I'm just right around the corner. Right around the corner. Yep. We're the closest we've ever lived since I was growing up. I think. They're my kids. Yeah. Uh -huh, they're my children. Yeah. 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 Hi guys, I just um, finished up practicing for tomorrow. We got home this afternoon. Strange thing. <laughs> we got home this afternoon and sat down for a cup of coffee and some TV and just to relax a little bit. And wouldn't you know, I fell asleep and that was like 4 o'clock. At 7.30 I woke up in my chair. Pete was feeding my birds for me. <laughs> So, anyway, that's what I get for not getting enough sleep last night, plus all the fresh air and stuff. But, um, can barely move tonight. My arthritis is pretty bad. <laughs> kind of expected that from being out in the cold and, you know, especially the climbing on, you know, and balancing on the uneven parts of the snow. Once we got on the lake, we're fine, but other than that. So, I'm looking forward to going out tomorrow and, um, de stiffening, stiffening myself and. Hopefully we can get out there like just about every day. That would be cool because I love it. I love walking out there. For dinner, I, after I got up, I made a salads and all uh, we had, we split a head of romaine for our salads and then we had tuna, hard-boiled eggs, um, ranch dressing, cheese, some seasonings, so some dill, some parsley was pretty good anyway. That was our salad for supper. Um, we ate those and we watched Murdoch, which we're watching the Murdoch something. What's it called? Murdoch? Murdoch Mysteries. Mysteries. Yep. Murdoch Mysteries from, um, they're on Netflix and we're on like episode seven or something or eight. We're very much enjoying those. They're from, they're Canadian and they put out good TV up there in Canada. I always loved Wind at My Back too. Loved, loved, loved Wind at My Back watched every single episode. Tonight I practiced. We are way behind on vlogs. We didn't even see. We were caught up as of about 9 o'clock yesterday evening and so we have lots to catch up on up and see how everybody's doing. Um, and then I feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't know what. But um, anyway I'll be running through the music you know, before church again in the morning and probably record some of that for tomorrow's vlog. But for today, we went for a walk on the lake. We went and saw my mom. We went and did fun stuff. So that's enough excitement for one day's vlog, I think. <laughs> um, so I hope everybody has a sensational Sunday. And like I always say on Saturday night, please pray for your pastors as they deliver the message tomorrow. Pray, pray for the congregations and the people that hear it. Pray for people that come into the church and hear the wonderful love of Jesus. Hear about his wonderful love that gets us through so much. <sighs> I just, I don't know how I could live without him now. But anyway, so pray for your pastors tomorrow. And I think we're going to have another fun day tomorrow. And of course you will come with me. So um, I will see you then. Have a great night and bye.